There's one sales asset that can immediately double your booked calls from cold outreach, personalized looms. Today, I'm gonna give you three tips for how you can record insanely good looms. Plus, at the end, I'll share one bonus tip for how to save hundreds of hours sending them to prospects. And I'll even record an example loom I'd send to a prospect for my business. Let's dive in. The quickest and fastest way to double your booked calls in the next 30 days is to start recording personalized looms. These are gonna be the best possible sales asset there is. Why? Because they immediately prove your expertise. They showcase outsized effort and your willingness to provide value. And well, we'll ignore, ignore the last point for now. But for most people, they seem to believe that they're time consuming as heck, which at the end of this video, I'll show you why that's absolutely not the case. And you have to be good on camera, which is totally true. But at the end of the day, that's a skill you should learn anyway, because being good on camera and being able to articulate your thoughts effectively is one of the most powerful ways to sell people things. It helps your sales calls. It helps you create content like the content I'm making right now. So it's just a skill that's worth it to learn at the end of the day. Um, it can even help you in real life, in networking and attending live events. So digging in deep. There's some general rules of thumb that I want to get across right off the bat when it comes to recording looms. You need to be concise. You need to reference something that's theirs. You need to speak slow and fast, and you got to have fun. Now let's dive into those. When it comes to being concise, the problem is, is that you're a stranger. You're just sending them cold outreach. You may have piqued their interest and they want to check you out, but they're not going to stick around for 10 minutes. My sweet spot with looms is anywhere from two to five minutes. And after recording hundreds of them, this is generally the best spot to be in. However, if you truly have a ton of value to give and you're chasing like a whale client, then going the extra mile and doing something super long winded and fully personalized can be really beneficial. But, you know, maybe I'll make a future video about how that would look. Reference something that's theirs. So, Keep open a website, LinkedIn, their app, reviews, their product hunt, really just anything related to them or their business that is related to the problem you solve. So if you're in email marketing, this could be a sequence that they sent you when you signed up for their newsletter or gave them your email uh, after you hopped on their e-commerce website, whatever it is, you just want to have something open related to them that's related to the problem you're trying to solve so you can talk about it and have an easy segue into talking about the problem. As you go through, make sure you're speaking slow and fast. By slowing down your cadence and then speeding it up again, especially through the boring bits, you're gonna be able to draw attention to the slower bits when you're actually giving the value. This will keep the entire video more concise and help bring attention forward and back and really just keep them on the edge of their seat. And lastly, just have fun, tell jokes, be charming, you know, just be yourself. Keep those bloopers in and things will go a lot better. And that leads us into tip one. So tip number one is to hook attention and set the right tone. Within the first 25 seconds or 20 seconds, you want to lay out why you're talking to them, why you're talking to them now, which is typically the problem you're seeing in front of you, a quick compliment within the first three seconds, and then lay out exactly what you're gonna talk about. Like, hey, I just have a couple ideas I wanna share with you about this problem I'm seeing on your website. And we'll get into this a bit later, but you're gonna to wanna to disarm them a little bit after you say something like that because you don't wanna sound preachy. But this can be, like I said, reviews, website load time, any other data you, you pulled. You basically just wanna call out the problem casually, like maybe this is a problem, and then lead into exactly what you're gonna talk about so they have expectations set. Then you're gonna to wanna to head into tip two, which is to remove the sales pressure. Coming off salesy like some MLM marketing master that's 43 year olds telling you to pitch door to door for him for free with a greasy slick back, that's not gonna be your go-to play. And that's just not gonna be a winning formula when it comes to sending personalized looms. These days, people are barraged with like 5,000 ads every single day. So you wanna stand out to them and to stand out, you're gonna to wanna to remove the sales pressure and that starts with providing a ton of value, taking a consultory approach, disarming them with your language, and most importantly, never using a script. I'll show you exactly what I mean by all of this towards the end of the video where 
I'll actually just hop on a website and record like an example loom for you guys that I might send to a prospect. So when it comes to that consultory approach, using language like I might or this could help you or I think that this may be beneficial to you and then disarming them with other language like you know, I, I can't know everything there is to know about you just by looking at your website or just by looking at your LinkedIn profile or your business. But I just have these couple ideas that I thought might be able to help. This type of language disarms the prospect, removes the salesiness from it, and overall is just going to make things flow really, really smooth so you don't have to be some door-to-door -door knocking scripted MLM junkie, which, I mean, it's not so bad to be that guy, maybe. Who knows? And that leads us to tip three, make your CTA soft. Aligning with this whole no, non-salesy approach to things, I believe a soft CTA is the most beneficial. And to make it soft, ensure that they know that if you're offering a call, it's entirely no obligation, but make it soft. And I should add to this clear. You don't want to go for a hard close. You want to take the position that you're really just there to provide them value because at the end of the day, sales is just a transfer of value for monetary gain, right? They're getting some sort of value and you're getting some sort of monetary value back. It's just a trade. So go value upfront, make sure they know that you're there, you're there to help because that's really what it is about discovering problems and providing solutions and go for something like, Hey, you know, click the button in the top right, the top right corner of this uh, video. And if you click that button, you'll be able to book a no obligation call with myself to go into more detail about these strategies. But only if you want to learn a little bit more about these strategies, because I don't know if they're perfect for you just from your website. Something like that's going to go off a lot better than if you like this, book a call. If you want this, book a call. Um, and you can even go the route of, you know, if you, if you found any of these ideas interesting, how about a brief email exchange or DM exchange going back and forth to talk about it in a bit more detail, like keep it low friction, keep the door open and you know, if you go for a two call approach anyway, your first call is really just going to be asking questions, qualifying them. It's not salesy as is. I personally prefer this approach because you don't know if they're a perfect fit for you yet or if you're a perfect fit for them. So asking questions and learning about them, the first call is usually way better. Uh, but I'll make a whole video on that another time. And that leads us to the bonus tip. Now, this tip is going to save you hundreds of hours. A lot of people take the route of just picking a lead list and then firing off personalized looms that are pre-recorded to all of them. But the reality is, is that only like 3% of your leads are going to be even close to buy ready. And really only 1% are actually like really itching to buy, you know, the other are tough sells. So instead of just firing off looms, what I do and what I recommend everyone do is to generate interest first. So send your email or your cold DM to build curiosity around the resource. And the resource is I'm going to record you a video breaking down why these problems can be fixed or how these problems can be fixed in the next, you know, 30 days, two hours, whatever it is with your audit, whatever it is. And then when they get back to you with, Hey, that resource sounds great. You're just going to fire it off to them after they've shown that they have interest in your product and you'll be recording it after they've shown that, you, that they have interest in your product. This way, instead of recording a hundred looms for a hundred person lead list, you're probably only recording one, two, or three, and then scale that up as you scale up the number of campaigns or the number of emails you're sending, um, or DMS of course, and that'll save you 97% of your time. Huge win-win. And now I'll go into a quick little example of how I would record a loom. So let's dive into that. Hey, first name I was just on your site and wanted to send over this quick video to you going over a couple ideas. I thought a local search SEO agency like you could use to get a few more inbound qualified sales calls every single month with local business owners. I see here that you have some awesome testimonials. So I was pretty excited to share this strategy with you because honestly, the better of a business that you can run, the more effective I think it could be. And yeah, I really hope it helps and that you implement it as soon as possible. Now, going through your website, obviously I can know everything there is to know about your business, but I do think a lead generation system that starts with prospecting on D7 Lead Finder and makes call outs towards people's competitors based off of 
search traffic could be something really powerful for you guys to call out your client or potential prospects problems and make a direct reference to a competitor that's maybe more successful using the exact things you're selling. For example, we could go to D7 Lead Finder here and we could say, hey, you know, let's look for HVAC in Austin. So these are all the HVAC companies in Austin based on Google Maps. And then what we could do is we could map Stan's heating because he's ranking number one for H HVAC in Austin directly to a clay table. And we could upload all those businesses to a clay table. And with that business, HVAC in Austin, uh, that, that number one business for HVAC in Austin, um, what we can do is start trying to find reviews, technologies, but really I think the more interesting thing here is to find who's winning the search traffic. And you can do this in bulk. So what this would look like for you guys is getting all the people that do HVAC in Austin and really any local uh, business type that you guys want to be serving or any city and finding all the organic search for them where you can make a direct comparison and say, hey, I noticed that you know, there's 6,800 people looking for HVAC in Austin. And right now your competitor blank is pulling in like 80% of that. Do you have a strategy in place for capturing customer inbound customers through Google search? Because it's one of the most high intent ways to get new customers. I was just asking because we do X, Y, Z, we're award winning, we're awesome. And then you can offer them a simple sales asset like the one I'm, I'm showing you guys right now. So this is just one idea. There's obviously a hundred others. And like I said, I can't know exactly how you like to run your business or everything there is to know about your business. Heck, I don't even know if HVAC is your priority, but I thought this could be a cool strategy to help you guys get a few more qualified sales calls every month, maybe a few dozen. Um, and if you're interested in learning a little bit more about it, you can book a call with myself for a no obligation consult to go into more detail in the top right corner of this video, or just shoot me back an email uh, at the same one that I just sent you from and the one I'm sending this video through. So have a good one.